This Adobe Sign tutorial will show how to get an employment offer electronically signed in just five easy steps. So let's start off by taking a look at the offer letter we're going to use in this example. I have a PDF here and you can use a Word document if that's what you have. This one has a number of areas left blank and I'm going to fill those out from within the application when I go through the send process. So let's head over to the application and get started. So what you're looking at now is the application dashboard. And our first step is to click on get a document signed. This brings me to the send page and on to step two, entering the information we need for the candidates agreement. I start with their email address. And in this case, I'm adding myself as the final approver for the offer. I'm entering a custom message right here and then the PDF of the offer letter. And now onto our third step, adding fields to the PDF. So I check this box and the PDF is loaded into the application and there are a number of blanks to be completed before I send it out. Now a note that this step does not have to be completed every time. If you're going to use this offer letter on an ongoing basis, you'll use the add template to library feature to create a reusable template with this PDF. So let's add these fields. Under Select Participant, choose Prefill By, and then add a text field for each blank that I need to complete prior to sending. And this is done with a really easy click and drag action. So next, I need to add a signature field for my candidate. So I go back to Select Participant and choose eSign By. And then I drag the signature field down to the appropriate space. And I'm also going to add the signer name field at the top here. Finally, I want to sign an approval letter. So I change the participant to approve by and add another signature field. So then I click send. Now send is a little bit of a misnomer because the system requires that all those blank fields are pre-filled with information first before sending occurs. So I type in the offer details. And once I have that done, I'm ready for the fifth and final step, pressing the click to send button. And that's it, five steps. And now the offer letter is sent out for signature. So I want to show you what happens on the candidate's end just to tie this all together. The candidate will receive an email on their computer or mobile device and clicks the link to open the document. And then they go ahead and sign. And their name also auto populates up here. And then back on my dashboard in the Adobe sign application, I'll have a message saying that I have an employment offer waiting for my approval. So I just click on that link and then sign and approve. So now the document is fully executed and can be found over here on the Manage tab. To get more information about Adobe Sign and to access more tutorials, please go to sign.adobe.com.